Hello everyone, Kales here, and welcome to another Old School RuneScape video. Today, the Medium RD Diary. For this set of tasks, you can expect to visit these locations. Feel free to pause if you would like to screenshot this map. For the level requirements, you need 39 Agility, 50 Attack, 10 Construction, 49 Crafting, 31 Farming, 50 Fire Making, 51 Magic, 25 Ranged, 38 Strength, 38 Thieving, 36 wood cutting and 20 quest points. Iron men also need 59 fletching and 59 smithing. For the item requirements, you need a Draymond staff, a Mithro grapple, any crossbow, two water runes, two law runes, three strawberry seeds, a basket of apples, farming tools, one regular log, 11 U logs, a small fishing net, a light source, scavid map, one raw chicken, one raw swordfish one U-Log, and the upgraded Ivan Staff. For the quest requirements, you need to have completed the Enlightened Journey, the Hand in the Sand, Tower of Life, and the Underground Pass. You also need partial completion of the Fairy Tale Part 2, the Watchtower, and the Sea Slug. Remember to bring some method of transportation to make this slightly faster. So once you have everything ready, let's jump into the tasks. Alright, let's jump into the medium section of the diary, and the first one you want to go to any hot air balloon location and to travel specifically to Castle Wars. Now for this one, uh, go ahead and click the link in the description, which um, has some specific information for this task, as you need to do something special for this one alone. For this next one, you need a scabbed map as well as a light source. As you can see, I have my Max Cape, which has one of the perks. And you want to go to the northernmost cave. And it, it, if the flower is not there right away, you can just hop worlds. And, um, you know, it is guaranteed to be there because it has like this weird rotation that you can find in some other place because it's much easier than going to the other caves. For this next one, we want to go slightly northeast and go ahead and equip your crossbow and your myth grapple. Go ahead and click the wall here in south of Yano. And once you are up there, as you can see as this little cutscene, you're going to jump off the wall and that is going to be task complete. Once you are down there, however, you are going to go slightly north to Bert's house from the quest Hand in the Sand and you are going to claim some buckets of sand from him. If you are an ultimate Iron Man, if you are sadistic enough to do that, <laughs> go ahead and fill a bucket of sand from the sand pit nearby, and that is going to be task complete. So as we finish that one, we are going to teleport to the monastery, because there are three very quick and easy tasks that we can do, uh, you know, in fairly uh, close proximity. First, enter the Tower of Life, go to the basement, and go to this fountain to use your raw swordfish and your raw chicken to spawn this devilish creature, which only wants to die. And as you can see, I can barely kill it because I don't have any proper uh, combat equipment. <laughs> but once you kill it, that's going to be task complete, and that was fairly easy. Apparently, I got one of the uniques. <laughs> you are going to exit the Tower of Life and use the Fairy Ring that's slightly northeast as well. First one, we are going to type in or, you know, uh, enter the code BIS, which is going to put us in the unicorn pen here at the RD Zoo. And the next one is going to be AIR, which will take us to the small island uh, near the Necromancer Tower. So once you are here, go ahead and teleport to RD, since this is another task. And once you are here, as I am trying to figure out what to do, go all the way to the east and travel with this dude to go to the fishing platform which is you know the the place you visit in that one quest I have in the requirements uh, using the small fishing net in one of these spots is going to give you the task since you catch something and that's going to be pretty much it make your way back to Artie and go slightly north to pickpocket a master farmer it doesn't matter what you pickpocket all you need is one successful pickpocket and that's going to be pretty much it for this next one, you are going to go to the farming patch and you are going to, well, actually harvest uh, some strawberries. One thing I should mention for all of the farming tasks, I am going to plant what's required, but uh, what you guys need to do is uh, actually harvest them. So this is why this is a time task and you need to prepare it beforehand. And once you pay the, f uh, the farmer, just so it's uh, guaranteed to grow, go ahead and teleport one last time to Artie, go all the way west, and once we make our way to West Artie, just go ahead and enter these creepy looking doors, obviously. Go all the way to the west part of West Artie, 
talk to this guy to reclaim the Iben's staff if you don't have it already. You don't have to claim it from this dude, but it's the easiest one. You can kill an Iben Disciple and it's going to 100% drop the staff. And once you have it, go ahead and pay this mage. It's going to repair the staff. And finally, pay one, uh, pay 200k to upgrade it, wear it, and that's going to be task complete. Once done, go to the NPC Two Pines in the eastern part of East Arty inside a building called the Fly Horse Inn to claim the rewards. You will obtain the Arty Cape 2 which provides unlimited teleports to the Arty Monastery and three daily teleports to the farming patch north of Arty. You will also obtain a lamp worth 7500 experience and finally all of these other benefits shown on screen. And that's pretty much it. If this video was useful in any way, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more guides. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon.